Hi, I'm Matt Moran from Aria Restaurant and I'm celebrating my 10th year with Singapore Airlines on the International Culinary Panel. My first year was 2003. Um, I have to say it was pretty daunting. I'd actually never been in a first class uh, seat before. And I remember flying up there. They, they flew me up there to have a bit of a look at what was going on. And I remember I sat down in that seat and the hostess came along. She said, Mr. Moran, could I get you a glass of Dom Perignon or Krug? And I just looked at her and I said, yes, please, I'll have one of each. You know, my most memorable experience being on the panel was obviously being asked, you know, it was a, it was a massive honour and it was 10 years ago, it, it's amazing how time flies, but you know, just to be asked and, and to meet people like George Blanc and, and uh, you know, Murata Sun, who in, in my world are absolute legends and uh, to be part of that, you know, it was, you know, I, I felt very proud. The philosophy behind the International Culinary Panel for Singapore Airlines is to make the food better. Obviously when you're on a plane, you know, you want good service, you want a comfy seat, but you want great food. You know, what's really important is these bonding sessions that we have together, so that the actual panel gets, gets together somewhere in the world um, every few years and we talk about trends, food trends and what's happening in their countries and I think that's really an important part of, of, the, of the panel. My philosophy is you know, produce and, and very produce based and, and the best way to actually make sure that that is worked into the dishes is obviously to write the, write the dish and, and spend a bit of time out at the caterers and, and see what they're doing and, and, and teach them. Um, you know, I go to Singapore and I will do a meal presentation but at the same time every year uh, the Singapore guys will come out and do a meal presentation in Sydney and what I do, I actually invite them into my kitchen not just to learn the dishes but to get our philosophy on, on how we actually do things and I think that's a real key. You know, over the years I've probably done, you know, five, six hundred dishes for Singapore Airlines. You know, I think I'm pretty proud of most food that I've put on the plane. Um, you know, I think it's changed over the years and I think it's, it's got better. Um, so hopefully I'll be there for a few more years. When actually planning the menu, you know, you have to take in consideration altitude. Um, your senses are highlighted when you're, when you're uh, at 40,000 feet. Uh, so things tend to have to be seasoned more than, than what you would actually do, you know, down on the ground. Um, in fact, in Singapore we have a, a flight simulator where you can actually go in and, and taste food and it's the equivalent to, to tasting it uh, 40,000 up in the air. To only use things that are in season, to me, is so important. A great example, you know, mangoes, for, for instance, in Australia. When they first come into season, they are very, very expensive and they're not great. But in the middle of the season, they're really cheap and they are absolutely beautiful. And the same thing happens again when they go out of season, they become expensive again and they're not great. So why not use them when they're in their peak? You know, being a member of the ICP panel is a great honour to be associated with all these brilliant chefs from all around the world. It's, it's pretty amazing.